guys, today we are on the way to Everest Base Camp, which is going to be like 5,200 meters in altitude, which is going to be crazy. Last night, both Jordan and I did not sleep very well. Um, we are currently at 3,880 meters, but like I guess we both had the same feeling, like couldn't breathe. just couldn't breathe. Like I'd wake up in the middle of the night and I was just like, <sighs> and so um, yeah, we're hoping that Everest. <laughs> We will be able to enjoy it, even though it'll be super high up. We do have a seven hour drive as it's 380 kilometers away from where we are now. We're gonna drive there, spend a few hours, and then drive another two hours to where we'll be staying the night. So hopefully it'll be a fun day, although we'll spend most of it in the car. hours or so from Everest but we will stop for lunch and we are at 5,200 meters so we're actually at the height of Everest base camp where we're going to later today which is close to 18,000 feet I've never been this high in my life I've never been this high in my life I've been to 17,000 uh, feet not meters 17,000 feet so it's pretty crazy um, it's really beautiful we're seeing all this snow in the mountains and um, also seeing lots of the prayer flags over here. Um, I'm actually quite shocked. I'm not really that affected by the altitude. I don't know if it's because I have these car sick patches on the side of my neck, but I think it's pretty okay here. Oh my gosh, there's yaks over here. Oh my gosh, let's go see. Just walking behind some yaks right now. Look at these. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're so big.
just stopped on the side of the road to come look at in the distance we can see some nomad tents and we were just talking about this in the car and we just saw some nomads actually who were with some yak so nomads here they live a really simple life up here in the high mountains and so the husband will be taking the yaks out during the day um, out around the mountains that's what we saw on our last stop which was really cool and then the wife will stay back at these tents in the distance in the tents this is where they will sleep at night and so the wife will stay back here all day preparing different things with the yaks so they have a bunch of yaks so she'll prepare things like yak meat yak butter dried cheese and yeah this will be their home it's just it's just really crazy to actually see real nomads The northern half of Tibet is virtually uninhabited desert called the Jiangtan, or Northern Plain. And to the south of this plain is an extensive area of mountainous grazing, land inhabited mainly by nomads and the herds of sheep, goats, and yaks. These people, wild and unkempt in appearance, live in their tents surviving on meat and dairy products. Even today, they maintain a traditional life, styles that may date well back over 2,000 years. on our way to Everest for just a few hours out. This road, we just came all the way up it and we're gonna keep going on this windy road for ne the next few hours until we get there. We're at 5,198 meters, so pretty darn high up and it's freaking freezing. <laughs> but this road is super cool. So there's 170 different bends, and this road didn't used to be here actually. It used to be all dirt, so thankfully that in the past few years they put a paved road, which we're driving on now, but um, it used to be people would just drive on the dirt, and so a lot of times people get sick from that, which is crazy because it's pretty windy here, so. That is the top. 
tallest monastery in the entire world. Guys, this is just so unreal. Mount Everest in the background. Oh my God, it's so cold. So unfortunately, uh, you used to be able to go a lot closer. You used to be able to walk all the way towards, well, you can't really tell with this lens, but there's a little bit of uh, hills in the distance. You used to be able to walk all the way over there, but they closed it uh, this year. So, and apparently every year they're um, limiting the mount, the area that you, they're limiting how close you can go to Everest. Sorry if I'm stuttering, I'm really cold. Um, and that is because a lot of tourists have left trash in the past and uh, they're trying to stop that, trying to preserve this beautiful mountain. So um, this is as far as we can actually go. But nonetheless, it's still cool. I mean, this is Mount Everest. Mount Everest is the highest point on earth, it lies on the border between Tibet and Nepal. Currently, around 35 monks and nuns live at the monastery. Guys, look at how all these yaks are here right by the Everest. They're just all like standing here. Jordan? Uh, I don't know. Do you feel any better? I don't know. Okay, well, unfortunately, Jordan didn't get to go all the way to Everest because she got altitude sickness. I did, I saw it, I just couldn't get out of the car. Well, at least you did get to see it. it oh, wait, I did, I did get out of the car. So unfortunately, Jordan did get very sick from the high altitude and ended up passing out and not really getting the full experience of seeing Everest up close where I was. Everest is just over here, like if I could just stand up to see it. I just can't. Sadly though, this can be quite common for many travelers that are not accustomed to higher elevation. So it's very important to listen to your body and come prepared both physically and mentally. Once we got to lower elevation, Jordan was able to recover and we got to see some more cool sights. for watching I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you enjoyed seeing Everest um, I definitely did even though I feel like my mouth is starting to freeze up <laughs> if you like my videos remember to subscribe you can follow me on Instagram uh, and I'll see you next time bye